But the Lord is saying at the moment for this country. That is the first thing that I want to say right now. And when I'm talking concerning this country, I'm talking about Nigeria. Where you also you are a citizen. When we are talking concerning this country, some people will be thinking that it's something that does not concern them. He will be thinking as if he's not involved. When we are talking about the nation. Just know that I'm talking to you, that you are listening to me. I want you to understand that you that you are sitting down, you are the nation Nigeria. And the Bible describes each and every one of us as a nation. And he established this one in the book of Genesis. That you are a nation. And I am also a nation. You can listen now that the two men were referred to as two nations. There are two different two nations in a single woman. All you people sitting down, you are the nation Nigeria. You are the nation Nigeria. And I'm also the nation of Nigeria. Listen, are you the people of Nigeria? That is a great thing between us and God. The Lord has got something against this country. And one of the things that the Lord has used to bless us in this country is a very good land. What we call a very good land. The Lord uses it as a sort of blessing for us in this country. And one of the sorts of blessing for us from God is, is iron in the land still. One of the sorts of blessing for us by God in this country is salt in our land. One of the great things that the Lord has given to us in this country is the petroleum oil in this country. One of the sources of blessing of God for us in this country is that, is that after we have dug into the ground, we were able to get glass in the ground. One of the sources of blessing for us in this country through God is what is called diamond. What are the sources of blessing for us in this country? Is cement that we use in building houses. All these things are in this country. And these are all these things that the Lord has prepared for us in this country. And the Lord faced us clearly and favor us in this country. And the Lord showed his great love for this country. And the Lord embraced this country. And the Lord raised up the important people in this country. The Lord directed a lot of important people to us in this country. And He gave us train at the right time in this country. Africa to South Africa. There is a country in this African continent. It is quite frightening that the particular country they may not have rain for good three years. And the people will be so dry up. And when they have rain quickly and they will have rain just for two, two years and eight months and the rain will come in form of dew. But God has given you water. And the Lord gives you rain. The Lord gives you sand. 
Oh, you are going to be a woman. Shuba, that Allah will take care of Sherele. The Lord was suspecting that you will be good. Allah will take care of you. The Lord expected you to repent. Shuba, Lord, but today, a certain kind of only life, you are only bring forth bitter fruits. Lord, today, or the shadow of the life, it is the idol that the country has elevated. Lord, today, it is the, it is the masquerade that the country has turned to their God. Lord, today, in your time. It is the brother where fornication is committed that this country elevated. Today, the country does not make God their priority. And this country is a beloved of God. The Lord loves us so much. But the reward given to God was bitter fruits. And what we gave him back was stubbornness. And what we give to him is that we damn the consequence of whatever he wants to do. And this is exactly what God has got against this country. And this is exactly what Thank God concerning hey, this you country. Know, and this is what God is querying us for in this country. Because this country does not even respect God. And they are not even prepared to respect God. And the second thing that I want to talk on this evening is what I met and I was quite surprised.